Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making crispy Tuscan salmon. Okay, so here is everything you will need for tonight's dinner. This is called, basically it's like a Tuscan one pan uh, salmon dish. And it's like a creamy dish too. It's really, really good. So I'm gonna be using some of my heavy whipping cream, about a half a cup of parm. I'm gonna be using potatoes to make uh, mashed potatoes. I just realized I only had a little bit left in here. Um, we have a family of six, so I'm gonna need a little more of that. So I might use one or two of these fingerlings. And so we're gonna do like a creamy mashed potatoes. And then um, you're gonna need butter, some coarse salt. I don't know if you use this, but it's the absolute best. And then I picked these up today and they are just, um, my dad is coming over as well. So I wanna make sure I had enough for all four kids and then three adults. To get started, I like to wash our salmon and then get it nice and dry. That's how we're gonna get the super crispy skin that I like on salmon. So what I did, uh, since I didn't buy these already pre-cut, which I usually don't, so I've got three adults, it's me, my husband, and my dad, and then the kids will eat little littler fillets. That way I'm not wasting anything. So I'm gonna cut three adult size fillets and then three little kid fillets, and then one, this little end one is kind of just like for anybody who wants extra, because somebody will always want more, and that way everybody has their own piece. So I'm gonna do that, pat it down, get it nice and dry. I also noticed on these, since they were just brought in the day that I bought them, they still had a little, they were a little scaly, so I ended up rubbing some of the scales off. So once you're done with that, go ahead and put salt and pepper on each side after washing your hands. And I'm gonna tell you the trick on how I get these super crunchy. So I always use a cast iron skillet. It's my favorite thing to cook in. And what I like to do is add about two teaspoons or two tablespoons of olive oil, get it super, super hot. You can tell it's hot because you can feel it from the pan. And then what I'm gonna do is add the salmon skin side down. Um, I like to always test it and make sure I put like a little tiny bit of the salmon on the cast iron skillet and if it sizzles, it's ready. Once you put it down, don't touch it until you can wiggle it and it slides off. That means it's nice and crunchy and fully cooked. Then we're gonna flip it on the other side until it's probably been there for, I don't know, three to five minutes, but you'll know it's done because you'll take your tongs and you'll slide it and it'll pop right off. Once we pull all the salmon out, we're gonna start making the cream sauce. I'm gonna start chopping up our garlic and getting everything kind of prepared. You can just roughly chop this garlic. It doesn't need to be um, anything super special. And then I'm gonna chop up the fresh basil that we'll put on at the end. And the salmon um, probably needs about five more minutes. So I'm also going to cut up all of our tomatoes as well. So to make our cream sauce, you're gonna to wanna to keep all the um, stuff from the salmon in the same pan. We're gonna start by adding our butter and bringing that kind of down to a nice melted consistency. And then we're gonna throw in our garlic and let that cook for about a minute.
so I'm gonna finish cutting all the tomatoes. I have to tell you, my favorite way to do this dish is to do one third of the tomatoes cut in half and the rest whole. Um, I would say that little hack where you put the tomatoes underneath the lid works only if you have a super sharp knife, just so you know. So if you do that and you get super frustrated, you just need a sharper knife. Um, so what we're gonna do is saute these down for a little bit, and then we're going to add our cream to this sauce. It smells so good right now. I wish you all could smell this. It is amazing. adding a little salt and pepper. I also did a little smoked paprika just to bring a nice smoky flavor to this dish. Um, we're gonna start making our mashed potatoes. You can do this with rice, you could do this with noodles underneath, you could really do this with anything. Um, but we're gonna do um, this dish with mashed potatoes because my kids love it. Another really awesome thing you could do if you really wanted to take it up a notch for Valentine's Day is do sweet potato mashed potatoes. So you have like pink salmon, pink sweet potatoes, be super cute. So I'm gonna get these mashed potatoes going and I will show you how I make them super fluffy and creamy here in a minute. So while those are boiling, I'm going to add our spinach and let that wilt down slowly into our sauce. And I'm also gonna add about a half of our Parmesan cheese and then the other half will go on at the very end. This is looking so delicious. I love how it really, really does incorporate all the flavors if you do it in batches. I'm gonna add the rest of this um, spinach and then just keep letting it cook down. So once all of your spinach has wilted in, go ahead and add your basil at the very end. That way you could still get the fresh basil flavor. It doesn't totally wilt down. Another thing I wanted to tell you, if you wanna put penne in this, like penne pasta, it is also an amazing dish if you wanted to do it without you know, salmon or anything. So once that's done, just tuck your little salmons in there. I do mine in batches and get them nice and coated. At the end, when I go to plate this, I'm gonna put a little bit of cayenne pepper on top of mine just to spice it up a bit but really this is perfect to serve your kids will absolutely love this it's cheesy and creamy and the tomatoes are so sweet and delicious and I really hope you guys enjoy this recipe because it is one of our all-time favorites so once we're done with that let's get our vegetables going and also finish up our mashed potatoes <laughs> asparagus is cooking down I'm gonna clean up what little mess I have this is another reason I love this dish is there's hardly in any dishes that need to be cleaned I always like to clean the kitchen before I serve dinner so that I don't get totally overwhelmed because after dinner is also homework time it's bath and shower time it's also bedtime depending on how old you are in our house so I'm gonna clean things up and then let's get the mashed potatoes done and I'll show you how I plate everything for the kids if you're new to my channel, definitely subscribe and check out my other videos where I do a lot of decorate with me, cook with me, and clean with me's there. Okay, 
Okay, so my trick for mashed potatoes, probably not the healthiest, but it's so delicious, what does it matter? I usually add about two or three scoops of butter in here, and then I use heavy whipping cream to whip it up. As you could see before, it was like super stiff, and then once you add that whipping cream, it just gets so fluffy and delicious. It's really, really good, and then I just add a little dash of salt on top. Again, it's probably not the healthiest, but it sure is good. So now that everything is done, we're just going to add this all to a plate and get it on the table. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. If you would like to download it, it's in the descriptions down below. You can also find it on my little website at laurennicholson.com. And don't forget to tag me on Instagram if you end up cooking this at Mrs. Lauren Nicholson. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.